I'm out of town and it say I'm at the presidential suite. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. This is what they consider the presidential suite, right? You know, also rented out, you know, an extra room for guests over here, right? But this is the presidential suite. They see it got a, I guess, a big table, maybe a view, you know. I uh, know it's an extra restroom over there. As y'all can see, I'm in the mirror over there. Can you see me? Yeah, you can see I'm in the mirror. All right, so this is the room. This is where the magic happened if you're married. All right, so I guess this is pretty much the presidential suite. How y'all doing? I'm Dill S. Jr. I am Reunion. Uh, broadcasting live from the presidential suite right now. Uh, today I want to talk about what's next. What's next in your life? First, I want to read the scripture. It's Joshua uh, 1 2. It says, My servant Moses is dead. Now therefore, arise, go over the Jordan, thou and all the people, unto the land which I gave uh, to them even to the children of Israel, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Okay, today I'm talking about what's next. What's next in your life? You completed your challenge. You had your event. You, you did the stuff that you thought you need to do. Maybe some stuff worked. Maybe some stuff didn't. Uh, but what's next? You know, maybe you had a, a, a someone die, a loved one die in your family, you know, uh, and that's what happened to Joshua. God told Joshua, Moses, my servant is dead. Now then, what are you going to do? Are you going to get back up? Are you going to keep on pushing? Are you going to make your next move, your best move, so it could be all smooth? What, what's your plan right now? I want to encourage you. Uh, just acknowledge God in this time, in this season. God said, if you acknowledge me, that I will direct your path. Guess what? You know, we don't have all of the answers. I know a person, I know uh, that have all the answers, and that's God. God have all the answers that you're looking for to make your next move. As we go into the new year, as we finish up the holidays, I know everybody is excited and smiling and everybody is doing everything they have to do uh, to make it. But I'm here to tell you uh, today that God have a plan for your life. And that plan is to prosper you and keep you in good health. See, God want to prosper you on the day. Uh, but in order for him to continue to prosper you, you have to acknowledge him. What do I mean by acknowledge him? Take time. What have you done for God? What would Jesus do? All these different thoughts uh, need to pop through your mind. Are you living a life holy and acceptable unto God? Are you doing your best? Are you helping people? Are you loving? Are you being a, a rock in your community? You know, I say that if you can win your home, you know, then you can win your neighborhood. If you can win your neighborhood, you can win your city. If you can win your city, you can win your state. If you can win your state, you can win the whole country. So what are you doing on today? What's your next move? Make your next move your best move. You, I pray that you just take time uh, to spend with God, to talking to him, praying. What is prayer? Prayer is just talking to God. You know, just like I'm talking to you on this video. Take the time today, right now, pray uh, to God and let him know. Let him know that you love him. Let him know that God, you're open to whatever opportunity that God have for, for you, for your life, for your family. Because guess what? Everything that we do, uh, is, it affects our life. Even the stuff that we don't do, right? They, they often say this saying that silence is a cosign. So if it's something going on in your surroundings and you know that it's not right, if you be silent, that's a cosign, right? Some people say, well, I don't like making decisions. Guess what? You your inability to make a decision that is a decision, and that decision uh, can affect your life. And then I always say it's not about what you do, 
uh, most of the time, but it's about what you don't do. So what I would like you to do today, just get up, get up today, take the time, spend with God, some, do something that you never did, pray for an hour, read for an hour, whatever you have to do uh, to just get into the presence of God. Because guess what God say? In his presence uh, is fullness of joy. I don't know who needs to hear that on today, but I'm telling you, if you just take time to get into the presence of God, God will bless your life on the day because God continuously have a plan for you. God want to hold you uh, under his arm. He want to keep you uh, under his arms. He want to keep his arms around you. He want to continue uh, to lead and guide you. But you have to open your heart up. You have to believe that God is God uh, of abundance, right? God want abundance. Jesus died that we may have life and have it more abundantly and to the fullest of measure. If you're not experiencing life on the fullest level, uh, again, my suggestion is continue to build your relationship with God. And guess what? When you acknowledge God, he will direct your path. I'm Dallas Jr. I am Reunion. Uh, excited to take time with you on the day. If you want to click that link below, uh, subscribe, like, uh, send it to somebody who may have need may have need for this message. Uh, I pray that you be blessed, and I pray you have a good rest of uh, your holiday season, a great new year. And again, I'm Dale S. Jr. I am reunion. Uh, excited that you took time to join. I'm out.